Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Yeah. You read the title right, you saw that thumbnail. We're back, we're running it one more time. I'm here to tell you what you should think of this latest banner in Pitter Patter Pop. Now, to preface what I'm going to say about this banner, I need to discuss why this banner is so important. About two weeks ago, maybe one week, Pitter Patter Pop announced shutdown. The game is officially going to be ending, meaning our accounts are taken away, the game servers are being taken down. The game ends. So everyone's been a little sad, and we honestly thought there was no hope for more units coming out. Because why would they still be putting in work when they have clearly abandoned the project? They're not going to be making money off the banner, so why would they be doing it? Well, I think this is Bandai having the slightest amount of a heart. In these last few moments we have with Pitter, they're giving us this chance to see all these units we've never got to see. And I appreciate that from them. You know, a time-stopping Jotaro, Knives Dio. It's things we've always wanted, but we thought we'd never get. And one week ago, it was cemented in our minds we'd never get. So I do have to thank Bamco for at least giving us this and giving us a couple more units before the game goes under. Now, the reason I titled this the final before you summon is because this could be the end. We have no clue whether more banners are going to come out after this. I think it's likely that something's going to come out after this, but we don't know. Because my bet with this banner is they were just trying to pump out the units that they probably had close to completion, like Voice Part 3 Jotaro and Voice Part and uh, not voice, V3 Jotaro, V3 Part 3 Jotaro, it's a lot of threes, and V4 Dio. So, without further ado, you know, I'm going to scoot all the sad thoughts aside about how the, this game is leaving us permanently, we're not going to think about that. Let's think about this. This banner is awesome. It's a really cool banner. I mean, Part 3 Jotaro, come on, look at him. Uh, I, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Uh, we'll talk about part 3 Jotaro first. Uh, check out the skill animation. Oh mama. That is sick. I love it so much. I, uh, I When I woke up today, I was talking to a, a group chat I talk with. And they were like, oh, did you see the new characters? And I was like, wait, what? We're still getting characters? And uh, I see Jotaro, and I'm like, oh, God, here we go. It's going to be another shitty unit. Then I watched it. He's insane. He's really good. He's basically voice part for Jotaro. Instead of dropping enhanced panels, he drops intensified panels. That's really good. That's a really good ability. It's, it's even the exact same, basically. Uh, every eight time tiles popped in his time stop he will drop an intensify panel it's really good other than that it's copy and paste part for Jotaro, voice part for Jotaro. really good uh i'm excited for him the animation's great his victory pose is really cool he looks sick it's the first good part three Jotaro we've ever gotten it's really cool to see him and then we come over oh big boy dio he is dripped out the wazoo. Check out the skill animation. Now the skill animation, I don't like it as much as Jotaro's, but it's still super good. Like, it's not bad by any means, but it does seem a little bit less effort than Jotaro's is, because Jotaro has, like, the cool sparkles, and I don't know. It just looks a little worse. I wish the knives were included in the skill animation instead of just a Muda Barrage, but hey, we'll take what we can get. But the main draw of this guy, his skill, it's really cool. So he stops time, and every match you make extends the length of the time stop. So let's say you time stop, and you like you're already choking like you have half your time stop left boom you make one match bam you have your full time stop again and you can just keep on doing that now it doesn't go forever unfortunately 
I really wish you could just stay in this time stop forever, but you can't. It does end up fading out the ability, or not necessarily fading, but what happens is as the time stop goes on, it requires more matches to be made to keep resetting it, which gets really tricky, and eventually you're not going to be able to keep up. So think of them as a better part for Jotaro. So every time you make a match, you basically get to keep going. It's just, it's really good. I mean, it's probably not going to be like crazy good, but it's fun. That's the main thing. That sounds really fun to play with. And the best part about it, his damage is insane. I was watching the skill video for it, and it looked like sometimes he was doing 50k. 50k per time, or per match? When you can make so many because he's just keeps resetting his timer? Ugh. Dio. He's really awesome. Uh, both of these guys are really cool characters. I'm really happy that uh, they're here. We're finally getting them. I'm in love with both of them. They're really sick. And their auras, oh my god, the piss auras. I love it. I love everything about them. And then on the side of the banner, there's voice risotto. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's like he feels shoehorned in. It's kind of like how... um. V3 Bruno was thrown in with Voice Lisa Lisa and Ultimate Cars. It's really strange, but I guess it's cool because a lot of people wanted Voice Risotto, and this is their final chance to get him. So, hey, it's nice he's there. And the final big thing to talk about the banner is it's a festival banner. So you've got a chance to pull any other festival limited. So, you know, you're going to be pulling some Voice Gyachos, Big Poggers. You, know, you might pull a Voice Part for Jotaro. Pretty sick. It's just... It's good. It's a really good banner. But the biggest thing, EX stickers for voiced Yukiko and voice act. <laughs> yeah, they're getting their EXs. I just felt the need to say that, but nobody cares at all. Uh, that's just something noteworthy about the banner. So yeah, that's the banner. It's going to be for, it's an aura, aura, so 450 for multi, 50 for a single. Uh, it'll be coming out with a front card to get some gems. It's really sick. Should you summon? Yeah. Go for it. These units, both of them look really strong. Uh, I'm actually theorizing that this Jotaro is going to be better than voice part for Jotaro. I'm calling it. So yeah, should you summon on the banner? Yeah, it's sick. It's a really cool banner. Uh, if you didn't blow your 1,000 free gems, go ahead and use it here if you want. Uh, these guys are really cool. Now I will say, I it's again, it's not guaranteed this is the last banner, so don't go too crazy. We might get, you know, bites the dust. We might get something really cool after this. Don't spend it all, but spend just enough to get one of the characters because they are really cool. That's all I really wanted to say. I just wanted to come in here. Since Petter's shutting down, I want to commemorate the game by returning to it just for a bit to really give it the send-off it does deserve because even though it's beaten me relentlessly, I love the game. I always have. So, yeah. If we do get another banner, I will do another before you summon, and I will keep doing them until this game's over to celebrate the game. I'll be doing a summoning video for this banner with my friends because I really want to summon and get these guys. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody, and always, I'll see you in the next one.